Download, subscribe, and listen to Whiskey Hill Podcast. We're the new show that doesn't hold back on today's ridiculousness. We're not on the right and we're not on the left. We call it the way we see it and we're going to make you laugh while doing it. Throw in some great craft beer and you cannot lose. Download Whiskey Hell Podcast anywhere you enjoy listening and check out whiskeyhellpod.com for more. Welcome to the League of Kings Podcast. Meet your hosts, Willie, J. Dot, Big Brother, and Joe. Join these four distinct voices in insightful discussions about society and culture. Get ready for captivating content, camaraderie, and guarantee laughter. Sit back, enjoy the show, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for an exciting journey ahead. Also check out A Dead Letter Podcast. A Dead Letter is a paranormal podcast hosted by the immortal who explores the unexplained phenomena that hunt our world. Check out my buddy's podcast. And now let's get on with the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe Podcast 2024. Hopefully everybody had a great Christmas. Hopefully everybody had a great New Year. A yeah, fresh new start for a lot of people, right? Uh, and 2024 has started out just like I thought it was going to start with the shenanigans. For some reason, let's first of all, let's start with this Ep- Epstein le- list, okay? This Jeffrey Epstein list that was the paperwork, the, the files that have been released, right? And uh, you have all these names or all these people you know, on that list. And I'm not going to get too much into it. The only thing I'm going to say about that list is who's going to do anything about it? Nobody. Nothing's going to come out, out of this. Nobody's going to get arrested. Nobody's going to get in trouble. None of that. You know, it's... Uh, It's like we're playing games and, you know, all this bad stuff that this guy did and all these people that went to his places and to his island and it doesn't matter, right? I mean, it just seems like it doesn't matter. I mean, if you are rich and powerful, um, you're okay to do whatever you want to do. Look at uh, Sam Bankman Freed or Freed Bankman, whatever the heck his name is. This guy that, you know, stole those millions of dollars and was funding you know, giving money to politicians, you know, to Democrats and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, that money was stolen. It wasn't even his money. And he got busted and somehow now he's okay. He's freed. Right. So, you know what I mean? When you have that kind of money, when you are involved with all these people with power and status, you know, it seems like it doesn't really matter what happens. Right. And of course, to us regular people, we look at the news, we look at the stuff, and we're like, yeah, let's get the list out, get the list out, and nothing happens. Nothing's going to happen. I would be really surprised if they actually arrest anybody on that list, in that Jeffrey Epstein list. I, I would be very surprised. I mean, of everything that I've been reading, it says on there that these people are on on the list, right? They're, the the names are, are out, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that they're guilty of anything. It's like, you know what I mean? It's, it's complete bullshit. It's complete horseshit. Uh, nothing's going to happen to Bill Clinton. Nothing's going to happen to that Prince guy, uh, Prince Andrew, or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, nothing's going to happen to any of these people. I mean, this is just uh, another publicity bullshit uh, that's going on, even though people want to see the truth. Nothing's going to happen. You know, you have all these politicians calling out for the arrest of these people on the list. And they say that if Donald Trump was, uh, was on that list, which supposedly he is, but he was the one that cooperated with the lawyers or whatever. And that he kicked Jeffrey Epstein out of Margalo and all kinds of stuff, whatever. I'm sure if you look it up, you'll, and, or if you've been following the Jeffrey Epstein stuff, then you know what I'm talking about. But if that would have been, Donald Trump, instead of Bill Clinton, 
this would be people would be out there rioting people will be upset the whole department of justice will be going after donald trump and you know what i mean and that's the stuff that i see as a normal person is you have something there with bill clinton right and other people and you know that these people have done weird stuff but nobody does anything about it you know the democrats and you know all these do all these people all these politicians don't say anything about that but if that was donald trump they will be all over him so it's like to me it doesn't matter if it's trump or clinton or hillary or whoever it's you have to be fair right for both sides for both sides it doesn't matter what political party you're in or what status you are if you're in hollywood or whatever it's you have to be fair all across the board so if you know a member of your party or whatever has been involved in shit that it's not supposed to be involved in then you should go after him just like you go after another member of a different party that's all i'm saying is it's about being fair and it doesn't seem like it's fair they're obviously it looks like they take care of their own right because these people have been around for a long time they're powerful they have money they have ties to all kinds of different things you know and stuff that us people don't know about right just the little stuff that comes out but there's i'm sure there's tons of stuff that these people have been involved um, behind closed doors and all i'm saying is keep it the same keep it fair right keep it fair like I mentioned right now, if this was Donald Trump, they will be all over this guy, all over this guy. You, the whole Democratic Party will be mobilizing, you know, to try to take this guy down. But it's not that way, right? It's crazy how that works. It's crazy how, you know, if you're not part of the party that you're supposed to be or if you're not liked, you know, uh, they go after you. But if there's something that you've done for somebody else or there's some ties or involvement in there, then you're okay, right? You're not you're not a piece of shit. And that's just politics for you. That's just how we operate here in, in this country, right, in the United States of America. It's, it's a shame and it's sad. But um, that's all I got to say about the list. Um, I don't find anybody I – don't, I don't see anybody going to jail for this. Uh, the stuff is done. The guy is dead now. Uh, the lady, uh, Maxine or whatever her name is, she's in jail now. 20 years. You know, Jeffrey Epstein, like I said, he's dead. I mean, so there, that's it. That's the end of that. You know, that's the end of that. So, you know, it's unfortunate. But even though people are like, well, you know, when you know, bring these people to justice, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, folks. It's just not going to happen. These people are way too powerful. Anywho, 2024, um, like I said earlier, has started out with a bang, right? Now you got this alien invasion in Miami. I find it to be 100% ridiculous. I think that with the rise of social media, I believe that people are now, everybody's a conspiracy theorist. Everybody. Right. Everybody. But none of the stuff matches up. You know, the 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 report was that there was these kids vandalizing stores, staying up firecrackers, doing all kinds of bad shit. So you had all this police go down there and close up the streets and, you know. And you had, you know, a bunch of police police cars out there. Right. People are claiming that on the video that was taken by, I don't know if it was a helicopter or something. And of course, the freaking video is horrific. It's ugly. You can't tell. With the technology that we have now in 2024, we can never get clear footage. Ever. That is what is mind-boggling to me. We're in 2024. We have so much technology. Right? Right? I mean, my GoPro, the stuff that I video with is amazing. And I have a GoPro 8, right? We're at, there is, GoPro is at 12. And my GoPro still takes 4K. It's still amazing. It's still clear. I mean, most of the videos, even if you take 4K video, most of the video that you see on YouTube and all that, you know, a lot of it is still 
720, 720p, right? So, and a lot of the video is amazing and clear, right? It's beautiful. You're telling me that, you know, they're recording all this shit. And of course, when there's some kind of aliens or some bullshit, the video is blurry all the damn time. It's blurry. Like, are you kidding me? That to me is incredible. I'm sorry. And I don't believe there was aliens in Miami. I think people are just idiots. And I think that uh, people that were starting shit in there are idiots. And the people that believe that there was, there was 10 foot, 8 foot tall aliens are idiots. That is not true. That is not true. Right? Freaking video, man. It just... It just gets me. It just gets me every time. There's claims of aliens, claims of this, and the video is the... It's like they see an alien, and they go buy the cheapest camera, or or they, or they the people that happen to see the aliens have the worst and the cheapest camera they could ever buy, and they video with it. And they're like, there's a shadow right there. There's an eight-foot-tall alien. That's why there was... That's why Miami closed off all the roads, and they, they closed off everything, and they had, like, 50 police cars. How do you expect people to believe this bullshit? But people believe everything. People believe everything. Oh, look, that's weird. Why would they close it up? Why is there 60 police officers in the SWAT team out there for fireworks and kids or people making, you know, causing, uh, going out there and breaking into stores or whatever the heck they were doing in Miami, right? Why, why is that? It's got to be more than that. that I, we saw aliens. We saw eight foot tall, 10 foot tall aliens. This is ridiculous. You know what I mean? I looked at the footage and I'm like, this is ridiculous, man. These people, whoever's, you know, these companies, or these people, they're filming or it's either in a helicopter or whatever. Are you shitting me? I have a drone. I have a drone that is like five years old. And I can tell you right now, you know, that this $400 drone can take better footage than the shit that they're reporting. And it's ridiculous. Are you telling me that if you're going to report news or you're going to video stuff, you're going to take it with a shitty camera? I would have the best, the, the best of the best, the best quality, the, you know, the best and proven cameras that are digital that are great that can take you know video without being blurred all the time there's an alien the video is blurred the video is shitty the quality sucks you can't see anything of course if you're using shitty video right and you're transmitting that shitty video and, and you make it into a file and then you show it you know, the quality of the video that you're taking, it's going to look like shit. So you're going to see shadows. You're going to see different things. People are going to look a little bit weird, right? Pixelated. And that's what you see on this, on, on, the, on that video. It's like, there, there it is. It's a, it's an alien. Are you shitting me? I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, this is hundred percent ridiculous. And then you right away, you get the conspiracy theorists go on TikTok, And these people are like, I'm in Miami and this there was aliens and this is not hitting the news and they're trying to lie to us about it. And it's there, you know, they're trying to the, one of the conspiracies that I read is they're trying to come out with this alien stuff to, to, uh, to steer away from the Ips, Epstein files. And I mean, come on, man, like this is, this is getting ridiculous. People come on. Like this is getting ridiculous. Like, I'm serious. Like, we're Americans. You know what I mean? Like, this is stupid. Like, everybody is so caught up on the conspiracy shit. Everybody. And it's ridiculous, man. I mean, I, I don't I don't believe it. I don't believe there was aliens. Unless there is an actual footage, real footage, quality, 4K, 1080p, whatever, quality footage taken every phone now these days every single phone has 4k or 1080 every 
phone. You're telling me that the shit that's on a helicopter or for the news or whoever's videotaping, you're telling me that your video is shittier than the camera phone? I don't know, man. I find it really hard to believe, right? I don't get sucked in by by conspiracies. I don't believe anything. I have to see the actual proof, the actual data. You can come out and say that there's 100 million aliens. Tucker Carlson can come out and say there's 100 million aliens and he's had contact with them. But unless Tucker Carlson or these whistleblowers have the damn proof, then I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And it's not a conspiracy. It's just bullshit. Right. And when the time comes and if there's really aliens and the video's there and here it is, then I'll be like, okay, I believe it. But until then, it's just bullshit. It's 100 percent bullshit. You know, this could be, like I said before, on one of my episodes when it came to aliens, this could be something that is man-made by somebody, Germany or somebody right back in the day. And, you know, we were trying to build the same thing, whatever it is, right? Whatever the story could be, right? And this is built by us, built by humans, right? And this alien theory shit is to scare people. I still think that way. I still think that this shit was built by us. Right. And then it's just created a big, huge story around it. I don't care if the whistleblower says this, the whistleblower guy that goes on Joe Rogan and, you know, there's aliens. Show us the damn proof. Show us the damn proof. I was watching this show or I think it was, was it, was it a, I think I was reading it. I can't remember what it was, but they were saying that, you know, they don't want to say anything about aliens. The government doesn't want to say anything about aliens, the truth about aliens, because then the people would freak out in this world and then people would start uh, going nuts and freaking out, scared, and it'll cause all kinds of problems and wars and issues. And honestly, we're in 2024. I really doubt that people are going to be surprised. I really doubt it unless you're living under a damn rock and i really doubt that people are going to everybody in this country everybody in this world is going to freak out and run around and freak out and you know commit crimes and all kinds of stuff i really doubt it this shit already happens anyways right yeah will some people react a certain way of course People react a certain way. It doesn't matter if it's aliens. People react in a weird way, even when it's something stupid. And they freak out and they do stupid things. People riot. People get together and riot for the stupidest things. People get together and complain and sit out there with these speaker phones and complain about the stupidest things. Of course, there's going to be people that are going to freak out if it comes out that there's really aliens out there and we have the proof, like the real proof. Here it is. Come to the freaking museum and here is the alien. Right. But this is all technology. This is part of technology that the governments don't want people to know that it exists. This is technology that other countries have. This is technology that we have. We're constantly fighting for the better, the best, the best technology so we can spy on each other, so we can spy on other countries. And so are other countries are doing the same thing. Look what happened with this balloon things that were coming from China, right? They're aliens. They're aliens. They're balloons. They're spy balloons. They're dude. You realize that all these countries do is things try to improve in technology to have the upper hand in other in other countries for money, for power, to spy, right? To be able to control the people in their countries, to see what you're doing, to see what you're up to, to see what you know other countries are up to. That's what this is about. This is about technology that they don't want people to know that it's actually real 
So they make this fork, this fake bullshit story that it's aliens, right? To keep it mysterious, get, get some people, keep them scared, right? Got to keep the people scared, the public scared. Oh, my God. There was an alien sighting. Keep them distracted, right? Because maybe this is something that is man, man-made technology-wise to do shit. And they're not going to tell you that, right? Because it's now they're messing with your privacy. Now you can cause all kinds of problems, right? So what is it? What's better to say is there's aliens out there. Keep the keep the public distracted. Keep them busy. Keep all these people going, doing documentaries and going out there and film in the sky and have some people out there going, oh, my God, there's a shadow. That's an alien. And then people creating shit, right? Creating videos with, with CGI or whatever, making things appear like it happened in Vegas and for publicity and likes, right? Oh, they were here in my backyard. They were here. I I saw them, you know, and the, they look at the video, they inspect the video, and it's bullshit. It's 100% bullshit. So I believe their stories created to cover other stories. It's just, It's always been like that especially in this country, right? Smoke and mirrors. That's what it is. The government, the Department of Defense, and all these secret agents agencies are designed so shit doesn't come out to the public. They want to keep it secret for to keep either the public safe, to keep to spy on the public, and also to keep an upper hand on other countries. That's how it works. That's how it works. But people eat up this shit. They eat it up. They freak out. Some people are scared, right? They get scared and it gets you thinking on just that. It keeps you concentrating on this and it keeps you away from the real issues happening in the country and happening in the world, right? Again, smoke and mirrors, a distraction for things that they're doing. It's always been like that. It's always been like that. I find it hard to believe that people do not understand that concept. It's 2024, guys. 2024. And you're telling me nobody has actual proof of aliens and actual footage, real footage of an alien whenever there's something coming out. Come on. I mean, come on. I would understand. I would tell you this right now and I'll be like, yeah, you know, we're. You know, this is the 80s, the 90s, you know, the video quality is not that great. This is 2024. We have robots. We have artificial intelligence. We have thousands and I don't know how many thousands of satellites in the sky. We have drones. We have satellites that can pinpoint exactly where you're at, look at you and blow you up. How is it possible that we can't get footage of an alien? I am sorry, but I am not going to eat this up. I am not going to be fooled or tricked unless this shit in the video is real. I'm sorry. You know, people gravitate. People grab onto so much shit. They twist the story so bad. They make shit up that when you go onto social media, You open up your Twitter or your Instagram and you're like, oh, my God, look, this person is in Miami. They're talking about that. There's aliens. They live there. That this is. And people eat that shit up. That gets shared. People start believing it because they don't look at anything else but social media. It's all over in social media because people are spreading it across platforms. These videos are going left and right. You got the conspiracy theorists saying, yep, there was aliens there. They're lying to the public. And it just gets, it's like wildfire. I've never seen so much misinformation in my life. I haven't until, you know, it's just recently, just so much misinformation. It was bad before, but now you look at the stuff and you're like, holy shit. Like there's this stuff, this community notes, right? On, on X, on Twitter. And people post things. And then, you know, you have the community notes where it says, this is not true. This video is not from here. This video is from somebody else. Or this person is not this person. 
that's a lie. And it's like people believe, you know, people that are posting this shit are why are they posting it? You know, that's one thing that I don't understand is these people have nothing better else to do than to post bullshit. I do like the community notes. I do think that's a good thing. But there is just so much information out there, especially now. There's just so much bad shit, misinformation, bullshit lies, conspiracies, left and right, you know, that it's hard to catch all that. So if you go on to and you're plugged into your social media, you're going to believe the shit that you're, that you're watching, the shit that people are sharing without you having to, you know, you're not doing anything any research you're not looking anything else up you think that this is real because you saw it on tiktok and that's exactly what happens right it dumbs you down it makes you believe shit that is not freaking true i know that maybe some of you might not agree with me but i agree with myself i think that uh you know i think that You know, it's bullshit. I think that it's 100% bullshit. And, you know, they're going to get some people. They're going to trick some people. You're going to have some people believing in this shit, right? You're going to get people to talk about it. Like right now, I'm talking about the shit, right? You're going to have people looking at just some of the videos going, holy shit. Oh, my God. This is a conspiracy to lie to us. Miami, Miami, there, there's, there, there weren't kids doing any vandalism or starting firecrackers or breaking into stores this this was you know these were aliens this was bigfoot down there in miami at the beach there it is on that shitty video from 2024 with that pixelated image i can see it that's what people look at it's incredible it's just incredible to me i look at this stuff and i go through the comments And you realize how many people are so naive to their surroundings, so naive to the world, to the things that are happening around around us. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't easily eat up all the bullshit. I don't. I look at it. I read it. I look at the comments. I do my own research. I look at other pages. I don't Google shit. I go through other search uh, engines and I try to see if this is even true. I am not just going to freak out over some bullshit in Miami, right? I'm going to be like, wait a minute. Let me see this video. That's bullshit. You know what I mean? And I look at other sources because it's like, wait a minute. Is this real true or this is bullshit again? And I look at it and I search for it. I don't just believe everything that's being said on TikTok. I mean, if you believe everything that's being said on TikTok, you have problems. That is not where you need to get your news. You have to open up your mind. You have to think outside the box. What is the real objective here? Right? Look at all this stuff that's happening around you, right? All this stuff. And I just named a few, right? How did I start? Jeffrey Epstein, right? Donald Trump, aliens, Hillary, Clinton. All these conspiracies all these things right all these things that are happening all these things that pop up this is the kind of world we live in and if you're naive and you don't do your own research for yourself you're gonna believe the first thing that you see and i know people like that i heard people talking Oh, I saw this on TikTok. This is real. Let me see that shit. That's fake. That's 100% fake. Oh, it's fake? You know, so it's... Oops, sorry about that. So it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy that stuff like this happens around us. And, you know, 2024 has started out with a bang. You know, I wouldn't expect anything else. You know, I figured that 2024 was going to bring us some bullshit. As soon as I seen that they were going to release the Jeffrey Epstein files, I'm like, here we go again. Doesn't matter what files you release. Look at the Hunter Biden files. Look at the Hunter Biden pictures and the what happened to Hunter Biden. 
What happened to Hunter Biden? Nothing happened to Hunter Biden, people. Nothing's going to happen to Hunter Biden. Get it through your head. We are powerless against these people. We are powerless. Nothing is going to happen to them. Nothing. But is if 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 this was one of us, a regular person, you would be stuffed in jail for 30 years. Think about that. That is just the world we live in. This is the country that we live in. If you're nobody, if you don't have any power, status, influences in high places, you will go down for that crime for 30, 40 years. But not if you're powerful and if your dad's the president. Right? Not if you've helped out other countries or if you've, you've scratched somebody else's back or the co- or the companies, the corporations that own this country have paid for you to run your campaign. Nothing's going to happen to them. It's true. It's sad but true. You might like it. You might not. You might agree with me. You might not, but that's the truth, right? The best thing that we can do is actually do some research for your own self, right? Think outside the box. Think of the problems. Think of the stuff that they're feeding you. Think of the things that are happening and put it together, right? Put it together instead of just believing everything that you see, everything that you hear. That's a wrap, 2024. I started out just like I thought it would. Until next time, peace. Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.